viral videos show the seventh grader being attacked last week, and a prominent Arab organization says it appears to be hate related. CBS 2's Jermont Terry live for us in Glendale Heights with a story tonight. Jermont? You know, and Erica, what played out at this school has so many people disturbed. Now, the video recorded in between classes shows a boy attacking the girl. Now, the school district says that this was a horrible case of bullying, but others insist this was a hate crime. And take a look at why. Watch as a seventh grade girl is cornered in by these lockers. A boy comes up and puts her in a chokehold before slamming her to the floor. There's no audio, yet there are multiple camera angles taken from various students who captured the attack at Glenside Middle School in Glendale Heights. And what's also very disturbing is that you see this other students that are filming the whole thing and they're not intervening. We blurred the faces of the juveniles involved, but Maggie Slavin with the Council of American Islamic Relations says the girl is wearing a hijab at school and insists that's why the boy targeted her. Have you ever asked yourself what truly defines us as humans? Is it not the capacity to empathize, to understand, and to love, regardless of our differences? Yet it seems as though some have lost sight of these basic human virtues. Recently, a deeply unsettling incident took place in Glenside Middle School, Glendale Heights, Illinois. A seventh grade student became the victim of an unprovoked attack. A young girl singled out, it seems, for her choice to wear a hijab, a symbol of her faith and identity. This incident was not isolated. It was a part of a larger trend of school-age attacks that have been on the rise since the start of the Hamas-Israel war. Now, you might ask, what evidence supports the claim that this was a hate-related incident? The Council on American Islamic Relations Chicago, a local Islamic organization, believes this to be the case. They have called for the incident to be treated as such, urging for a full investigation into the matter. Indeed, the school district has launched an investigation, but as of now, the superintendent stated that there is currently no concrete evidence to suggest the attack was motivated by racial, cultural, or religious intolerance. This incident, however, has left many in the community shaken and questioning their safety. The police have been contacted, but the status of their investigation remains unknown. It is important here to draw a stark contrast between such acts of violence and the teachings of Islam, a religion often misunderstood and misrepresented. Islam, at its core, is a religion of peace, respect, and love. It teaches its followers to treat others with kindness, to respect their beliefs, and to live in harmony with all. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, once said, None of you truly believes until he wishes for his brother what he wishes for himself. This golden rule of empathy and mutual respect is at the heart of Islamic teachings. It is a far cry from the act of violence that took place within the walls of Glenside Middle School. In conclusion, it is crucial to remember that such acts of violence are not representative of any race, culture or religion, but rather they are a reflection of ignorance and hatred. It is up to us as a society to strive for understanding, tolerance and peace. We must stand together against such acts of hatred and violence and work towards creating a world where everyone is free to express their faith and identity without fear. So as we move forward, let us not forget the incident at Glenside Middle School. Let it serve as a somber reminder of the work that still needs to be done. And let us remember the peaceful teachings of Islam, and indeed all religions, that call for respect, love and understanding among all people.